Hello, and welcome back to another guitar session. I'm Jason Carey, your host, and today we're talking about 12 bar blues, and it's going to be super simple. At the end of this session, you will have learned the three chords that we need to play the blues, the one, four, and five, and the key of A. You'll also learn the 12 bar blues form, and you will learn how to strum the 12 bar blues form. So let's get started. First, we'll learn how to play the chords. So we're starting with the A chord, open A. Finger one lays over the D, G, and B strings. No need to play the high E string. We could play the low e open E string, but let's try to just shoot for the four middle strings. The next chord is D. Open D, finger one on fret two on the G, finger three on fret three on the B, and finger two on fret two on the high E string. Finally, E. So we're using zero, finger two, and finger three on fret two, both on frets two. Finger one on the G string, open B, and open high E. And that's where we'll get started. We'll call the A chord the one chord, the D chord the four chord, and the E chord the five chord. Basic 12 bar blues structure has 12 bars in it, 12 measures, and in each measure we count four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Measure three, two, three, four. Measure four, two, three, four. And then measure five is the four chord. Six, seven, two, three, four. Eight, two, three, four. And then E, two, measure nine. And then measure 10. 11, measure 12, and then we go back to measure 1, and we just repeat that over and over again. So it's four bars of each chord. The 12 bar blues is basically the archaic version of it, it doesn't have any structure, but as time moved on, we started to develop a 12 bar blues structure, a 12 bar structure. So the first four bars consist of the one chord. The second four bars consists of the four chord, and the third four bar set consists of the five chord. So that's our short introduction to the 12 bar blues. I'm just gonna play, and if you would like to play along and strum along with me, then continue watching. One, two, a one, and two, and three, four. This may seem like a pretty basic approach, but if you stick around, we will learn some other more complicated or more advanced versions of the 12 bar blues. Have some fun learning to strum that and getting a feel for that. And we'll see you again next time. And until then, happy picking.